So I've got a little bit later to get stuff done, but I've had a randomly good good deed and gift from uh, Angela and Mark. Uh, turns out, I didn't realise it, but that wheelbarrow is theirs. Um, it was in my parents' garden because somebody was doing work in there and I didn't have a wheelbarrow at the time, so it just sort of went into my, my collection of tools. So that's going to get returned. But they've given me this barrow, which is old and solid, like properly solid. In fact, I'll get the bale out and just show you. Uh... It's like made it out of welded plate. That's how old it is. Before we're just pressing things, it's all folded in and everything. And if you look at the, you know, it's solid, it's heavy, but like actually proper supports. I know only people that use tools will appreciate that this is this is never going to fail on me. But look at the spindle, actual axles, like done properly. It's still it's been stood up right. It had bindweed growing around it, and it rolls without even squeaking. Why can't we do things like this? Now, I know it's pretty heavy, but why? Why? Anyway, let's go get Princess some bedding. So, lesson learned. I shouldn't be an idiot. So, I've took some food out for her to go rummaging while I put the bale in there and bend down into that space. Because I have found out you do not want to be in that confined space with a pig. Come in to inspect a new bedding. Oh, no, it's not food. Let's go back for more. So, as you can see at the back, uh, I've chucked some straw in like the slightly drier area under there as well. So if she wants more bedding, she can put more in. As I said, I don't want to put too much in and make it too cramped in there when she's birthing. So there's uh, some uh, extra, extra there so she can make her own bed if she wants. If you want to make your bed extra fluffy, you can. But yeah, um, also the reason I went over to Mark and Angela's is I randomly got a call saying, oh, there's a massive water tank available, which I need. And it's got a tap on to take all the water off that roof. That way I can sort of, well, collect as much rainwater and use as little tap water as possible. So, yeah, that's the task for today. Well, and then getting all the veg done. That's happening. It's happening today. And what do we call Sod's Law? Oh, no. Sorry, Mark. It's going to need fixing. I apologise. I didn't know it happened. So there's something rustling in the bushes behind me. Uh, but, yeah, as... I've, well, I've not broken. The, the tire's gone down on that other bar. I'm going to lend them this, fill that up. That's looking minging, so that's going to need emptying and refilling as well. My jobs list just keeps getting bigger, such as having land. So as I was getting the wheelbarrow, I must have startled some uh, sparrows that have been in eating this lot. They were flying into window and all sorts, so that's something we need to tackle. I think I'm going to have to take this out of it. I don't mind feeding the sparrows, but I do mind them flying into the glass and potentially hurting themselves. So, yeah, we'll have to sort that out. But, yay, five eggs. Doing well. Just just to make it perfectly clear, that's the drinking water. That's just the in and out way for the geese and the bathing water. I know it's not the nicest, but I wouldn't. that's not there for them to drink. That's there for them to drink. That just needs cleaning out. I don't want people thinking that, you know, that's what I'm making animals drink, because that's just not on. How very kind of Angus. I got back with a wheelbarrow and with five eggs to say sorry. And she got me a bacon butty. What a gem. Thank you very much. So, Ren has kindly lent me his one. You can't really see it there, but I've got to reverse it out. And that's how tight it is. It is dodgy, but doable. So, here's the tank. Uh, it is fairly huge, to be fair. Uh, Angela offered to come and give me a hand. I was like, no, it's not that big. I'll be able to do it by myself. What's the problem? How do you spell my bed? But this is another sort of one of them random, random serendipitous moments. Just got a message saying, do you want this tank? I rang Ren, can I borrow it? He said, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, need it tonight, but tomorrow it's busy. And then the message woman back, she said, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not there tonight. Can you come tomorrow? I was like, oh, I can't. Whereabouts are you? And she was there like, oh, down at this spot. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I've got a key for there because this is where the Angela bought, who bought the pony brought it. So, yeah, random serendipity just working in my favour once again. Life is good. I have to say, I am pretty impressed that I've been driving with all that in the back. Ren did warm me, I've been drawing, driving very steady, and only three barrels have fallen when they were stacked up on top of there. So, go me. Now I've just got to try and get that monstrosity in. Ooh. Well, now you can see some sense of size. She's massive, but comes with a tap. Should be tall enough to build up enough pressure so I can actually use the water rather than just having to do, use buckets and everything like that. I think we'll have to see about that. And it's got a screw top. 
absolutely perfect for what I need. Yeah, it was full of nasty, nasty, nasty sludge, but that's easily remedied. It's very kind of the person that gave me. I don't want to name people because you know, some people might not appreciate it, but yes, thank you. The unfortunate news is I've got reverse all the way back out there, and that goes on for another few hundred metres beyond there. So uh, let's see how this goes. Shit. And just so we're absolutely clear, this is me with a flat battery facing the wrong way in a wrong way on a one-way road in a car I've just borrowed, well, in a van I've just borrowed. Ah, uh, how are we going to get out of this one? I think I've got a battery in the field and some jump leads in my car. Hmm, let's see how this one resolves itself. Put out the call, I've got Gav, Hannah, Dad and Reese all here to help slash laugh at me for being an idiot. We've tried pushing it, but it's fairly heavy, isn't it, Reese? Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm a well-prepared idiot. I've got batteries sat around waiting. That, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Oh no. Battery number two, please. <laughs> That's definitely doing better. Let's give it a bit of time to get a bit of juice through. Yeah. Victoria, we are, we are. Now I've just got to not stall it while I reverse all the way back out. Wish me luck. So I've just reattached uh, the electric fence. Uh, so yes, Princess could have got out whilst I was being saved. But fortunately, she's smart enough to think that the electric fence is on while I'm not there. But yes, she's still in her area. I'm in, still in the van and I've got my uh, big water tank. So let's get her out and see what she's like. She is a beast. Uh, she is actually massive. Uh, but yeah, so she's going to go. I was using these barrels, but I can't tap them if I was with me a store of water. But now, raise her up on a bit of block and I get a bit of gravity feed, maybe a little bit of pressure. Mind do at this end or I may do at the far end of this roof. And then I can have running water in the sort of bathroom that I'm going to build. But yeah, brilliant. Could have gone horribly wrong. Hasn't gone horribly wrong. We got there in the end. Yay! Well, as I wanted to make sure that Ren's van went back to him fully charged, I thought I'll come park it up, leave it running for a little bit just to make sure it does charge and come and have a look. Well, come to one of my favourite places. Look at that view. I'm not going to tell anyone where it is because it's a secret little hidey place. But there'll be some people watching us that do know where it is. And yeah, it is stunning. But yeah, we live around here. Just count your blessings. As much as I love that view, this is one of my favourite things. Is these are all little oaks. If you look, all the leaves are slightly different. Pretty sure they're all native oaks, but they're all just that little bit different. Just a nice little reminder that in nature, nothing's exactly the same. It's diversity that makes things beautiful, and it's the same with us. If we're all the same, it'd be boring. And that is just beautiful. She just keeps on giving. I'm not sure if you can see there, but there's a deer and a couple of baby fawns next to her. I'm not sure if you can see on my camera, but it is beautiful around here, like truly beautiful. And we're back. Present and correct, running and fine, absolutely fun dabby dozy. Simple job turned into a lot longer one. Now I'm running short on time for actually planting stuff, but I am getting at least one row done. I am. So, just pop down to the shovel to have a look at the, peb, uh, the pond and to be honest, get myself a pint after the calamitous evening. Uh, but yeah, that's a red ant's nest with flying ants ready to go. Uh, so, huh. hang on, have I got any on me? No, I haven't, got lucky. But yeah, don't really want to anger them. And in this little chamber here, we've got the tiny little, little eggs. And then they must be taken over here to be the big eggs. They are really cool the way that ants all work together. Really quite cool. Way We have a new liner. Uh, so now it's just a matter of lifting that stone off there, which is really good fun. Emptying that and then, yeah, well, figure something out. Apparently dad's asleep. Uh, there'll be somebody else in there I can use. Well, mum has been trying to fix holes. 
So we're going to see if we can fix this line. Uh, it's be a shame to waste it just because of a couple of holes. She managed to find them last night. Probably would have been a little bit helped if she'd done this before she went and bought a liner. But hey, it's mother after all. And Mum had got, bought, bought herself some peas, but she was short of a trellis. So I've just woven her some, one out of some old willow. Just needs a bit of trimming on the end. It's sort of square lashed in each corner, so it should hold. And she's got a nice natural frame to throw her peas up. Well, I haven't had a chance to get up to the field and do the plants, but I'm about to eat all of this. And my mouth is proper watering. Day 90, and yeah, well, what a random day. Didn't really get what I intended to get done done, but I did get a wheelbarrow and a bale of straw and the barrel and a bit of a random story with a uh, van. Uh, but yeah, it, it's what happens. Uh, but yeah, let's see what day 91's got to offer.